Now our guest today is here to help those of us who cannot see. If you are blind like me or if you have 2020 vision, they have everything for you. So in studio today we have Alan Matata who is the country director of La Pea Glasses. Can you sana? Yes. Thank you so much. Welcome. <laughs> But do people wear glasses? As in, I don't know. Have you ever had this thing here? People wear glasses are very serious, very calm, very. Cindy, mm. yeah. it's just something about guys who wear glasses. Cindy, to not just scare to death. Be to be special, la manin. But Karim Musana Alan. Thank you so much. And I must say, you know, our hashtag today was Friday Fashion, and uh, your fashion plus your glasses. Man, they're matching. Same was yeah. that. Did you do that on purpose? Yeah, I'm like, was it on purpose? By the way. Indeed. Uh, it's somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> Your glasses are that color. It's yeah. not just today. Ujaku jaku to sumbua. Um, it's it's actually I actually wore this one special for you. Oh wow! <laughs> now we feel special. Now I'm feel telling special. you. Yeah. All right, so let's just jump right into it. Um, who is Alan Matata and how did he end up, you know, with La Pea? All right. Um, I think for for some of your viewers, they might not know what La Pea is. Yes. Okay. Um, so La Pea is a social enterprise, mm -hmm. uh, which was formed to make glass eyewear mm -hmm. uh, affordable, mm -hmm. uh, accessible, but still stylish. Mm -hmm. um, because we feel that style is a really important uh, factor when picking glasses. Yeah. Um, and usually if someone goes into an optical shop, mm -hmm. they're limited on style because of prices. Yes. So what we do is we make all of our frames mm -hmm. Um, ourselves and because of that they're the same price for right, any frame okay. giving you the freedom to mm -hmm. choose mm -hmm. the style that suits you the most yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah if you want to match it with you <laughs> <with your clothing, laughs> yeah um, and and things like that oh, mm -hmm. okay. but I'm like let me ask um, growing up did you always like know you'd get into you know this side of life you know dealing with glasses dealing with eyes you know, d yeah. was this the dream or it's absolutely because not. You, study you, you had an experience? <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely not. Uh -huh. Absolutely not. Mm. Um, growing up, I wanted to be a teacher. Really? Oh, okay. Yes, I had some very yeah. good teachers okay. um, mm -hmm. in school and, and I thought, yeah, that this is a really good. Mm -hmm. um, Why did you go to school? Because our teachers were not that good. <laughs> yeah. You know, no, very rare for me to someone to say they wanted yeah. to become a teacher because they that had teachers, really good yeah. teachers. Yeah. That's, it's, it's rare. It's really I, rare. Extremely. Yeah. It's it a is. rare case. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it is. Even when, yeah. I, even when I said it, I, I was judged for wanting to be a teacher. I was really? told there are so many other options things <laughs> yeah you can do True. yeah or mm -hmm. more exciting things uh -huh. mm -hmm. um so yeah i think uh growing up um what i wanted to do was just to make money really mm -hmm. really uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> and so i studied computers yeah. um I, I didn't study uh i care mm -hmm. uh, but over over time um i became more concerned with um, helping people mm -hmm. or working with people um, through some volunteer work I used to do with the Color My World volunteer group. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was able to be given that opportunity to be a teacher mm -hmm. uh, because we used to teach the kids in Kenyatta Hospital mm -hmm. um, arts and crafts uh, okay. for the kids who were in for a long time for mm -hmm. cancer and other uh, long-term illnesses. Mm -hmm. And so this, this made me care about helping people yeah um and uh, through different jobs i've been allowed or um been able to do that mm -hmm. and when uh when la Pair came mm -hmm. um there's two things that uh, la Pair is focused on mm -hmm. uh, first is innovative technology mm -hmm. to be able to test people faster and easier mm -hmm. um and at and make it more accessible to test them where they are mm -hmm. um to use the website also for accessibility so people can buy uh, from where they are and mm -hmm. get it delivered. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's about technology and eye care. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm also one of the people who <laughs> suffers. <Yeah. laughs> mm -hmm. I'm short-sighted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all these things coming together mm -hmm. are the reason why I chose La Pair. Ah, yeah. okay. And how was it starting this business or like being part of this business? Because you know, we really don't see eyewear as a business, but it really is. Yes. But how has it been? Um, so I think one of the things is there was um, a, a huge gap mm -hmm. um, in this area of affordability. Okay. So I personally have suffered um, this problem when 
uh, wearing glasses before where like I had a crack on my glasses yeah. but yeah. because of the price is like 15,000 to change yeah. it I was like I'll I'll stay with this crack for a few <laughs> months. <laughs> as long as I can. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just uh, another month or two yeah. and, and which becomes six months. Mm-hmm. But um, there is that gap for affordability mm-hmm. yeah. where our glasses are, uh, for example, 3,400 for prescription glasses, mm-hmm. including the frames and the lenses. Uh-huh. And by bringing the price down, uh, it makes it accessible to people who are students, people who are... Uh, starting out in their mm-hmm. jobs, mm-hmm. it makes it um, easier for people who are more comfortable yes. to buy a variety of pairs mm-hmm. and be able to change according to their style yeah. um, at the moment and not think about if I pick this one, uh, this is me for two years now. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow, that's but I'm nice. like, let me ask. I feel like for a lot of Kenyans, mm. a lot of people, they don't like find eye problem a thing to get yes. concerned about you know you go you get some eye drops that's what you're using hapakule i'm like um what's your take on you know the importance of uh, why it's very important for people to just go for you know eye checkups when you have those eye irritation mm-hmm. and not just self-medicate and assume you're okay yeah, yeah so there there are different dangers uh because you you could be developing a disease mm-hmm. for for one mm-hmm. uh which if they're found early, they can be controlled. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing why we should just have our test eyes tested at least every year is, for example, if you're becoming short-sighted, if you address it earlier, yeah. um, if you're able to get corrective lenses mm-hmm. or contact lenses um, early, it can slow down uh, the d- degeneration mm-hmm. of, of your eyes, so mm-hmm. you'll be able to see better longer. Mm-hmm. Um, and generally, our eyes are um, the most complex organ we have apart from our brain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they have like so many things that um, could, go, could be going wrong. Yeah. So uh, putting, putting an, a drop or any other foreign object without being absolutely sure what the problem is mm-hmm. uh, can actually be making the problem worse. Yeah. And then some of us actually have problems of allergy. Mm -hmm. So you might think your eyes are sick and you might decide, okay, I'm just going to go and get uh, these antibiotic drops. Yes. Um, But your issue is actually dust Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe like uh, some sunglasses or something like that can help prevent the dust. Mm -hmm. Uh, While these drops can cause leave you susceptible to a fungal infection, Mm -hmm. for example, Mm -hmm. because um, the healthy bacteria is being killed. Oh, okay. And this is more of a personal question. So if you wear glasses and you haven't worn them in a while, is it possible your eyesight will get worse than before the glasses? Yeah, if you don't constantly wear them. Um, so <laughs> I, I know where you're coming from. <laughs> Same as that group. <laughs> so constant, yeah. uh, constant is not necessary. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, for example, if you're short-sighted, mm-hmm. Um, it's not necessary to constantly wear them, yeah. but if you're looking at things that are far away from you mm-hmm. uh, and you find yourself straining, mm-hmm. um, you you are actually, uh, you could make your eyes worse right. uh, because you're tiring the muscles by straining. Mm-hmm. And over time, your your eyes would adjust to that straining and become worse. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. So wow. it's not that, you know, if I was this sh- short-sighted, I become like this short-sighted. <laughs> it, yeah, is that so possible? It, it is. Oh, it, okay. it can happen okay. if you're straining a lot okay. and letting yourself mm-hmm. strain. Ah, but yeah. if you're looking at things which are close to you mm-hmm. and, and not straining and your eyes are comfortable, mm-hmm. uh, then you're not ruining them by not wearing constantly. Right, right, right. I'm sure watch chat sports. Today is that day. Don't look at us like this. We are plugging you. So we are going to take a short commercial break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back because LaPere is still in the studio. Welcome back everybody and uh, in studio we have some people here with us. This is Lucas who is the customer care service yeah, yeah, of um, La Pair and we have our eye model Desiree. Now Lucas is here to show us how to pick uh, the frame, the right glasses for your face. Like, you know, the one that can frame your face well, yeah? Yeah. All right, so where do we begin? When I come in and I'm like, okay, I want glasses 
mm-hmm. maybe they are medicinal, maybe they are fashion. Where do we begin? So first, mm-hmm. uh, we need to know the shape of the face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We need to check from the forehead mm-hmm. to the cheeks mm-hmm. to the chin. Okay. So for if, for example, mm-hmm. your face is oval, mm-hmm. it means that uh, your forehead mm-hmm. and the cheeks mm-hmm. and the chin yeah. are symmetrical. Right, okay. So for oval faces, mm-hmm. you can go with any shape of frame. Okay. It can be round, mm. it can be cut eye, mm-hmm. it can be square. Yeah. So you're not limited when it comes to choosing a frame. Uh, for example, okay. such a frame, mm-hmm. this is cut eye. Uh-huh. In our company, we did them after African cities. Okay. We call this Cairo. Oh, nice. Named Cairo. after Cairo. 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 Yeah, Egypt. yeah. Cairo. after oh. yeah, the capital city of Egypt. Yeah. We also have s- this one. This one is called Djibouti. Oh, nice. I like oh, the color. Really yeah. nice name. Oh, it also nice. comes in red. Uh-huh. We have this called Bulawayo. Uh-huh. Also comes in uh, in another color, oh, blue. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So for, s- for someone with an oval face, mm-hmm. they can they do can any, of any of those. Yeah, any All of right. these. So what's my face? For you? <laughs> for you, it's more of oval. Mm-hmm from the forehead mm-hmm. to the chin mm-hmm. and to the cheeks and to the chin it's more of oval okay. so for you we'll do a frame uh-huh. that will not hide your eyebrows mm-hmm. but will also elongate ah right the yeah. cheeks yeah oh, okay okay that's very interesting. Really interesting so what yeah. would you choose for me so yeah. f- for you uh you can do a cut eye mm-hmm. maybe you could try uh Mombasa. so we have this mm-hmm. we also have this this one is called prayer. You could try All this. Right. Let's give it a try. Really cool names. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that looks really nice. I you can see really it doesn't hide the eyebrows. Yes. And also the sitting on the yes, ear. Yes, yes, yes. It yes. must be perfect. Right. And it mm-hmm. must not be too tight yeah. because it may trigger headaches. Yes, yes, yeah. that's true. Okay. Yeah. So it's because I have a small head, that's why I, do. I can't hide my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> and oh uh, my. and uh-huh. when you, you bend, uh-huh. you must make oh sure that the yeah. frame does not fall off. Okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And if they do, they, they can just come and get them like tightened, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, uh-huh. fantastic. What but about you still work on that when you're like someone is getting the glasses, you know, you, yeah, you make yeah. sure the measurement is um, intact mm-hmm. yeah. so that when you're moving, yeah, it you doesn't don't lose your glasses. Exactly. So let's talk about her. Mm. Yeah, uh-huh. so. For her, she's Daisy. Mm-hmm. So for her, she has more of a round face. Mm-hmm. You can see the forehead. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have any angles. Yeah. So for her, most for people with round faces, mm-hmm. we recommend square frames mm-hmm. to make sure that it does not does not project the circularness of your face. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you can't have a round face and wear round glasses. It'll it be too much. It'll be too much. <laughs> <laughs> to be okay. too yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. So like for her, mm-hmm. the frame she has is square. Mm-hmm. She can also do another option like. Uh, like this one mm-hmm. we call this juba oh nice that's so cute it comes yeah. in various colors uh-huh. the frames are plastic huh yeah because i know some people have like you know yeah okay. exactly some people have a preference yeah. i don't want metal metal i want to just have you know a plastic frame yeah that looks really oh, cute wow, those are so yeah, nice. yeah. yeah okay and has, uh, has like prescribed or just for style uh it depends with okay. the, your preference mm-hmm. there's some people who just want plano for glasses style. yeah maybe for the outfit mm-hmm. for style you also need to choose a frame with you, also with the skin tone. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. For yeah, light yeah. skinned people, mm-hmm. it's very easy to play with colors. Yeah. Yeah. For dark skinned people, yeah. some colors will be too much on, okay, your, on your face. Okay, yeah. okay. So you need to choose a frame that mm-hmm. is suitable for the occasion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like for me, you can see I'm doing dark and uh, black and gray. Yeah. So if I choose a dark frame, mm-hmm. it, uh, it wouldn't really be. Yeah, it would just like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like to be, be sunk in. With to be too color, much, yeah. yeah. So you need to get something that is projecting out there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm that if I'm like 10 meters away, Mm -hmm. I can be able to see that you're in glasses Ah, in a specific color. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, how long does it take, you know, before someone goes back to get their maybe lenses adjusted or, you know, checked again? How how frequent should one do that? We we recommend Mm -hmm. uh, one year, Mm -hmm. but in case you have illnesses like hepatitis, Mm -hmm. diabetes, Mm -hmm. after every six months, it's advisable. Really? Does it affect your eyesight? Yeah. Ah, if no you give okay, you glasses, no idea, yeah, for example, if your blood pressure is high uh-huh. yeah. and you've come for a test, mm-hmm. yeah. we cannot be able really to prescribe because you're not you're not in a stable condition. Because oh, wow. when you stabilize, okay, yeah. maybe we give you a high power yeah, because your blood was hyper. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then when you stabilize, mm-hmm. you f- you f- you're straining, mm. you're getting headaches. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I'm like, you know, I I do understand there are people like me who have um one eye is totally 
weak compared to the other like they're both weak but there's just one in your mama ye quite your situation yeah. so i'm like when it comes to such situations do you still you know um make sure like someone has the correct lenses for each um eye and do you still recommend the one year period or saying ni neza kwa corrective designing ye in six months neza kwa kama nimekuwa consistent nikiva my eyesight could be better and I, i might need to come in and you know get another checkup mm. or how how does it work it it depends mm -hmm. uh, first this comes last when mm -hmm. it comes to choosing the frame yes. Yes. the first okay. thing when you get to the clinic mm -hmm. we have to test okay. we have a qualified optometrist mm -hmm. who will take you through the process it takes 10 15 mm -hmm. then once you have a prescription yeah. now we can proceed to di we dispense this is what you call dispensing mm -hmm. well you choose a suitable frame mm -hmm. and for some prescriptions mm -hmm. they might be the power might be too high mm -hmm. okay. you find that it cannot maybe fit on this frame yeah, yeah. because uh, we also need to look at the axis on where to concentrate the power yeah. so oh. if the power is too big and cannot fit maybe in this frame mm -hmm. we'll advise maybe on a bigger frame oh, mm -hmm. okay. or if the frame is too big mm -hmm. and the pupil distance is too small for you mm -hmm. we wouldn't recommend a very big frame mm. oh okay yeah. right. okay i didn't know that that's yeah. very interesting but i'm like let's talk stunners yes. you know yeah, hey stunners hey ni la sector ya utaki kuchomo na jua na utaki kuonekana na watu but i'm like uh, okay let me ask yeah. um why is it important for guys to wear stunners apart from yeah they you know you're looking fa fantastic you mm -hmm. want to have that look apart from that on the medical side of things yeah yes so for stunners mm -hmm. personally i do th them a lot mm -hmm. because i don't like photochromatic lenses okay S for mm -hmm. some people it doesn't work for them perfectly yeah. because the variation of maybe the tint because of the, s of the uv yeah you find maybe you get some discomfort yeah. okay it's not dark enough yeah mm. or maybe it even triggers headache sometimes oh, okay. for some people mm -hmm. but for for me i do stunners because you know the tint is standard yeah and then for these uh, sunglasses mm -hmm. they are medically certified mm. right, 100% so i can get like prescribed sunglasses yeah at like some point yes okay, with other opticians but okay. for us it's standard yeah. oh it's standard all of it them are they don't have a prescription these are oh, sunglasses right, okay, okay. You, for the beach mm. when it's too hot okay yeah but they have they have the whole uv protection yeah uv thing. protection 100% oh, actually right, uh -huh. this is very different from uh -huh. what we buy from the guys in town uh, yeah that's true because yeah. the ones in Just town sure sure as you talk about them you know yeah maybe pick a frame for yeah there's right here this looks uh, really nice yeah we also have these so for sunglasses yeah. we've named them after islands and okay. they are very affordable mm -hmm. how much is very affordable 1900 only okay. oh, the foster grant brand where we give such a pouch Oh nice. Ah. This is used as a uh, you can put it inside and yeah. you can also use it to clean. Ah. It's very easy. Ah, so that's it's nice. You know, yeah. I know those things easily get lost. Yeah. 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 So for sunglasses, we named them after islands. Mm -hmm. So like this one we've called it Mumbo. 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 Oh, Mumbo. Lazima yeah. uko na tu memory mzuri mtwangu. Yeah, This <laughs> names I'm like I know Djibouti, I don't know yeah. Djibouti wapi. Oh, nice. So ah, like such. Nice. Yeah. The difference yeah. between these and the street. Mm -hmm. You can see when she's uh, with them on, mm -hmm. she doesn't need to strain a lot. Mm -hmm. The ones in the street what happens? They create that darkness. Yeah. You have to squint a lot for light yeah, to penetrate. Least. So you yeah. find your pupils dilate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, which okay. in the long run can lead to some partial blindness. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's nice. All right, yeah. what do we have? We have such most of the sunglasses are unisex. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh both uh males and females can do them. Mm -hmm. But What's for sunglasses, this one is called Lamu. Well, Lamu. Hey. Hey. You need to go to Lamu. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah. So, for some glasses they're cute they're like not they're not round but they're not square yeah. oh that's mm -hmm. nice okay yeah. uh -huh. so for sun glasses mm -hmm. they're very nice mm -hmm. especially when it's too hot and yeah. you, you don't need to carry your glasses around yeah. and then also okay. the style okay also good for the style mm. you know there are those guys they just do a nice outfit and then uh, after doing a nice outfit mm -hmm. then when they add the sun glasses mm -hmm. they look complete the look yeah, yeah. you All can right. try this and these ones are which ones What are they called? These ones we call them Ngadzija. 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 Wait, that island? Ngadzija. <laughs> 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 in Africa. Okay. Oh, it's in Africa. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I need to go back Africa to the art class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. I love ah, the drama. I, love, I love it. I love yes. the drama. And I'm like you guys I understand you guys also have um a giveaway. So I don't know what are we going to ask guys? Where are you? I don't know. Where are you guys located? Like uh, if we answer that. 
I go no. Yeah, what would you like them to answer yes. and what do they win when they get it right? Yes. yes. Uh maybe they could name maybe a pair of sunglasses. Fantastic. How many people? I don't I say one. One, one person. I yes. okay. Name one one pair uh, of sunglasses. Three? Let me be generous. Enough. Okay, three. three. Fantastic. Three. Yeah. Okay. Name one pair of sunglasses. Evo two. Now na jishindia mashishio. Glasses. Watcha tata ndikia makanti mbako utapata Kenya. Na siko sikia Kenya. Na I know y'all know our SMS line is triple one triple four triple one. It's only one shilling. Umeme be all fair. Just name glasses name what you had whatever you had mm. just name it over there and you could be the one who's you know walking away with the giveaway mtu wangu ende ngare ngare tusumbue kabisa but you all know where can guys find you on social media by the way uh on instagram yes daisy at lapea glasses at lapea glasses mm -hmm. facebook lapea La glasses, glasses. Ah, okay lapea glasses everywhere see you tomorrow same time not tomorrow it is saturday Monday. ha Two on any Monday, same time, same place, but we're talking about 10.30 to 10.30 vibes yet in a few hours.